the Akalteki. One of the most ancient and unique breeds of the world is the Akalteki. The Akalteki is the most distinct strain of the ancient race of horses known as the Turkoman or Turkmen. Poets and historians have written of these horses over the past centuries, praising their elegance, strength, stamina, and beauty. The Akalteki is a horse that crafted history and has a pivotal role in the development of civilizations. In 101 BC, the Han Chinese under Wu Ti were so impressed by the heavenly blood-sweating horse that they tried to buy a stallion for a horse of pure gold. When this offer was rejected, they sent an army of 80,000 into ancient Turkmenistan and came home with 30 purebred horses and approximately 3,000 partbreds. The history of the Akalteki is tied to the wars that swept through their homeland repeatedly. Mongol invasions in the time of Genghis Khan divided the Turkmen into small clans and pushed them out into the deserts. They took their horses with them into the deserts, treating them as part of the family and developing a specific regime of care, including blanketing with many layers of felts which not only protected the horse from the biting cold and stinging flies, but also was said to increase the metallic shine of the horse's coat. It has been hypothesized that the metallic golden glow would help the horses disappear into the treeless steppes. Because of their desert heritage, they've been known to exist on subsistence levels of food and water. Once, there were estimated to be over 100,000 Turkmen horses in Central Asia. Wars, famines, and selling horses to other countries brought their numbers down to dangerously low levels. It is probably miraculous that the breed has not been rendered to extinction given the political and economic strife it has endured through the centuries. Today, the Akalteki is considered a superb athlete capable of competing in the most strenuous and competitive athletic events in the equine world. Its people-pleasing personality has endeared it to owners who know and are passionate about their breed. But for all its incredible attributes and suitability for many different disciplines and activities, the breed is now considered endangered. The American Livestock Breeds Conservancy classifies the Akalteki as threatened and the Equus Survival Trust lists the breed status as critical. All across America, owners and breeders of the Akalteki willingly share their passion for the breed and their personal experiences. For them, this is a breed worth saving from possible extinction, which is a very real possibility if more horses are not bred and the number of stewards of the breeds does not increase. While the breed is recognized for its endurance and athletic abilities, its numbers are now alarmingly low around the world. 
It is estimated that there are only 3,000 purebred horses in the world at this time, and only about 600 purebred horses in North America, numbers which threaten its sustainability for the future. Perhaps tempered and hardened by its desert roots, the Akulteki has miraculously survived, although its low numbers in the world make it an endangered breed still today. Besides its historical significance, owners are quick to praise the horse's athleticism, intelligence, sensitivity, elegant beauty, and sensibility. It's obvious this breed is personable and enjoy the company of people, making them excellent companions. Owners have found them to excel at many disciplines, including dressage, endurance riding, trail riding, eventing, jumping, carriage driving, reining, and so much more. We took a tour across the U.S. to meet with owners and breeders to discover what's special about this breed and why it's worth saving. Their heartfelt passion for this breed is more than evident. Its versatility is unquestionable. In Washington State, owners demonstrated the athletic ability of the breed and share why this is a breed worth saving. Uh, the first time I went out to see an Aquateki, it was because um, I thought they were beautiful and I really wanted to see their metallic shine in person. But then uh, once I started riding them, that's kind of what got me hooked on them. Um, they're very sensitive and willing. They really want to please you. And they have um, very smooth, easy to ride gaits. Um, they're just a lot of fun. They're very intelligent horses. Um, they uh, we'll figure out what it is you're asking of them and what it is you want and they will work hard to do it just as you want and um, to please you and once they figure out what it is they'll keep doing that. Um, they're very willing and um, they'll try their hardest for you. The first Aquatechies I ever saw were in Colorado. I stopped for the afternoon and lost to my heart. I walked out into a field full of mares and foals who just gathered around and gently wanted to be touched and petted. And I'm like, oh my God. Then I saw the stallions and I was blown away. And it wasn't just their beauty. It wasn't just the slight exoticness to them. It wasn't just the slinky movement, the comfort of them, anything like that. It was how they resonated with me, where there's something about the Akultekis that touches me in my soul. And, you know, there are many beautiful breeds of horses out there, there are many gorgeous animals, but the Akulteki has something more. They connect with people they become your partner and you know you can you can ride that smooth ride all day you can be thrilled by their intelligence but in the end it's how they will do better for you than for someone else who might be a better rider because you're their person i see it over and over again where people really develop a partnership with these horses and they are amazing i mean i could give you many many stories about my nine years competing with my techie gelding and how our partnership has saved my butt many, many times. And I got into Aquil techies just by chance. Um, I went to work cleaning stalls for somebody who had them and I got a quarter horse. I watched how athletic and versatile, how amazingly easy to work with they were and thought, you know, maybe I can make a nice rainer out of one one day. So I bred my mare to my girlfriend's stallion and I've got this gilding at home. He's unbelievable, you know. Um, later, I picked up a part bread from the Nez Purse 
and I do endurance now. And I, the, the Appaloosa crossed with them is just an amazing endurance horse in my eyes. I got this horse that wants to get a job done and I love it. The Akulteki is an ancient breed. It's one of the oldest breeds in the world. It is a genetic treasure. It has genes in the Akulteki gene pool that are not in any other breed of horse. It was used to develop many breeds of horses and there is the possibility that someday they could be used to infuse more vigor into other breeds. There's quite a few people that are using crossbreds right now with a lot of success. In Minnesota, owners and breeders were equally passionate about their breed of choice and its suitability for many different activities. Akultekis are a breed worth, worth saving because uh, they have lots of unique characteristics. Um, they're super athletic, they have an excellent, excellent mind and personality. Um, whether you're, work, you're doing endurance, eventing, jumping, um, or just going out on a trail ride, they're, they're an excellent, excellent choice for a companion horse. They've got a, a solid mind and they're a good partner. We want to see people involved with the horse. Um, the best way to get, get that out there is through shows and promotions and things, things like we're doing now. A lot of people when we go to say a breed expo or something like that don't know what an aqua techie is and it's, it's real important that we don't get the aqua what. So we, we want people to know what, what the breed is and what the breed can do. We're only a small breeder in Australia there. Uh, we, we're proud to say that we've got a stallion in Australia. Uh, up to a, f a few months ago, he was the only breeding stallion there, and he's now had two, three foals. I was very good at endurance there, and I, I'd always heard about Alcatikis, but I'd never seen them. And as a matter of fact, I didn't think there was any in the Western Hemisphere. And then when I did see one, I just had to have it for endurance. So far, I believe they haven't really proved themselves in endurance, but I think that when they do, they'll take over. And I honestly believe that. I think that they can do a lot of other good for a lot of other breeds. They're not just Alcatig as a purebred, but as a crossbred to a lot of others. I really think that they've got the genes to bring some of the others up. The reason why I think the Akulteki would be a good youth horse is because they're so dependable. Every other horse I've worked with, I mean, there's a connection, but with an Akulteki, it's so different. You create this bond that's just almost the most amazing feeling, and the reason why I think they'd be really good at jumping or endurance or anything that deals with athleticism is because once you create that bond, they'll do anything for you. They'll go head over heels and just, they want to please the person. They think all the time and they want to please you. When you teach them something new, they're willing to work with you. They're like, oh, this is something new. That's, that's what I want to do. At the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky, owners proudly exhibited the horses to enthusiastic visitors, explaining its history and heritage, as well as demonstrating its abilities in many different disciplines. The stewards of the breed in North America are passionate about this horse. They have experienced firsthand the exceptional attributes of this breed. It's exceptional intelligence, personality, athleticism, it's people-friendly temperament. The stewards of the breed are on a mission to preserve a breed where fewer than 3,000 exist in the world and only 400 in North America and wish to educate and promote the exceptional attributes and suitability inherent in this breed.
they wish to welcome you to a breed like no other. Among the owners of the breed, there is an expression that you start out owning an Akulteki, but they soon own you. If intelligence, athleticism, personality, temperament, and heart are important attributes you look for in a horse, you need to take a closer look at this exceptional and rare breed and assume a role to help preserve and propagate this special horse. I feel like the Akulteki makes a wonderful um, sport horse and dressage horse because they add athleticism and a different type of, of power and grace to the warm blood or even as a purebred that um, isn't exhibited in your, in your warm blood or your classic trichaner. The grace and athleticism of the horse um, lends itself to dressage. And they're, you know, they're a very trainable breed. You know, dressage requires a great deal of, of focus and a, a long-term commitment. And um, the, the Aquatechies being as trainable as they are really lend itself as well to the dressage because they're capable mentally of handling the upper level components of dressage. I do feel that the breed is worth saving because you know, most of the sport horses that we see today have all been influenced, the thoroughbred, um, tremendously so, almost 50% potentially. And so here's the, the pure genes of the thoroughbreds and the, and the tracaners that and the, the, the qualities that we really liked in those horses. And here's kind of the source of all of that, that it's, it would be a shame to lose those qualities in the horse world um, when, when they're so readily available right now. So um, yeah, I, I, just, I just feel like it's really something that was worth pursuing that people just don't know about and that's why they haven't they, they you know they're not breeding to them or they're not showing them or, or they don't see them out enough or they think they're just just about the shiny coat that they, it's much it's much more than the shiny coat um, it's more about how they ride and how they show and how they act well the Echeltiki make very wonderful event horses they are very athletic, which shows in their basic gates, beautiful gates, flowing, ground covering, and um, very energetic. Moreover, the jumps, uh, I've heard them be called cat-like. Um, very willing to jump, some of them love it. Uh, most of them seem to really enjoy it, and uh, which also gets them out of trouble, especially on the cross-country course. And, um, Besides that they are wonderful dressage horses also, very comfortable in their gates and um, wonderful to train. Well, on to cross country, they are usually very courageous and uh, show a lot of endurance and heart. They have a lot of speed when it comes to covering the ground. And I've found that with the Akaltikis I can form, I want to call it a special bond. Um, they do trust you. They will go further for you if, uh, if you've found that bond. You too can become involved in the preservation of this valuable horse breed by contacting one of the Akaltechi members for more information. You will soon understand why this is a horse breed worth saving and you can have an important role in that mission.
This is a breed worth saving because they're unique. They've got an excellent mind um, combined with excellent, they're, they're excellent athletes. Um, they'll do what, what you want them to do when you want them to do it. They're, they're, they're very willing. I, I love the breed's mindset and you couple that with, with their athleticism and they're, they're an excellent partner. As for why to save them, you know, not only are they a genetic treasure, but they are not just a horse. They are an animal that becomes your partner, that becomes your friend, that will do whatever it is you want to do, and they'll do it to the best of their abilities. You know, if you want a piece of sports equipment, you can go find a horse, any horse. And techies don't do well with that. They want someone who wants a relationship. And if you are willing to start a relationship and a partnership with these horses, you will be amazed. A horse of history, a horse with heart.